Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm going to share with you everything I crocheted in October. Well, all of my finished objects. If you're into crochet and yarn, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Just hit that button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Starting with da -da -da, my cropped granny square poncho. I love it. Look how gorgeous it is. It is so pretty. So just cute little flowers around the neckline and then a little cropped, just super easy granny square pattern for the rest. So it's kind of like the modern take on it, but also just so cute with that delicate edge at the top. So a classic, but with a modern twist, super cute. Plus, of course, you can wear it two different ways. You could wear it the traditional V way that we're all a little bit familiar with, or of course you could wear it like with a boat neck side to side, my favorite way, because it just kind of covers everything and you don't have that triangle in the front. So I really, really like it. It's also great because it's not too big, it's not too bulky. And of course you could use any color combination, any yarn. It would be great in like a nice cotton, like a, like a thin cotton and a big hook, like a super kind of lacy summer version if you are in the Southern Hemisphere like me or of course a regular worsted weight acrylic if you are in the northern hemisphere and easing into a cooler time of year. It is super easy to do and the big feature why you should check out the tutorial, I show you how to join or to even to make your granny squares along the neck, make those flower granny squares. Well, turn your flowers basically continuous join as you go for the neckline. So all of that fiddly little bit around the neck is only two tails to sew in. And I show you step by step how to do it. So it'll look like that on the inside. Perfect. As soon as you're done. So two tails to sew in four tails for the whole poncho. So two, four, well, not including the flowers, I guess. Flowers, of course, don't count, <laughs> but all of the beige yarn or all of your poncho color yarn, whatever you're using for your joining and your poncho, only four tails for all of that. So super great to do and a great tutorial to learn how to do continuous join as you go. So if you are looking for a cute poncho pattern, this is my go-to for the season for sure. I should also say all of my, all, all everything I'm showing you today is already tutorials right and left-handed and also written patterns over on my website. Speaking of which, another thing to say, there's gonna be a freebie, a Remembrance Day freebie coming up on the newsletter. So I'm gonna link the sign up to the newsletter link in the description box. Go ahead and click that if you want a free pattern coming up, but I will show you that next week. So go ahead and subscribe today and then tune back in next week where I can share with you the free pattern. You are gonna love it. I'm in love with it. I've been making a ton. Okay, so that is the gra uh, flower granny cropped poncho. Next, the next thing I made, ooh, my favorite. I love it. This has been going out and about with me. I've worn it out to dinner. It's really great. The Weboween shawl. Weboween. Isn't that fab? I'm loving it. So I saw spider webs. My daughter saw spiders or cobwebs or spiders. You tell me what you see. I just love it. Now I want to show you another one I'm working on. That's how much I love it. Let me grab that one. This is the same pattern in a lovely fern color yarn. So I'm still working on another one in fern color. This is Bernat Satin. I got it right this time. So this is still one of my whips, but that is what the same pattern looks like, just using a different yarn. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be working on another border for this one. So when I have it sorted out, it'll be a tutorial also. But until then, if you wanted to do the same thing, it is this glorious one right here. So this is the Webaween shawl. 
and the good thing about it is that awesome border down there at the bottom isn't that great so just enough yarn to kind of weigh it down if you were tuned in to our border podcast last week you saw all of those tips and tricks I have for making your borders hang this one is just using a lot of the same yarn to give it that weight and a little bit of swish so that is fabulous so easy to wear it's just the right size just long enough to throw over your arms your shoulders your neck your back share with a friend share with a child it is the perfect size of course just wear it yourself also another thing i crocheted this month is the cute pumpkin granny square so what made this super cute is the little bit of a 3d texture it has a little bit of a raised um, shape to it and these cute little cluster stitches that just make it look a little bit extra pumpkin-y that's really cute now we're almost easing out of the fall season so this I'll be doing some bunch of things with this for next year maybe a little earlier on than I did this year but so cute and fun to make so it's just three rows for your pumpkin a little tiny bit of a stem and then boom straight in to a granny square I know you've been looking at it. I know you saw it already. <laughs> My gorgeous ba -ba, Christmas cactus. Another thing. Now, I did not actually crochet this this month, but I did do the pattern. It took me days to do the pattern. Well, it took us two days to do the pattern. Somebody helped me with it. My dear friend Mesh. And then we spent another day, like another eight hours getting it to be just right so there is the written pattern and the right and left-handed tutorials already this is also i think technically if you look at the shape of those leaves i think it's technically a thanksgiving cactus i googled it after i made it of course and it looks a little bit more towards the thanksgiving shape of leaf than it is towards the christmas cactus leaf but it is also just a perfect plant to have around i've had it in my living room since I moved to this house. So now it's up back in the yarnery, but my living room looks empty and a little bit sad with it gone. So I might have to make another one. This is the large size. The written pattern also includes making a smaller size. And then you just kind of put a little, make a little dirt puck, a little hockey puck of dirt that fits your plant pot. And there you go. I do also recommend terracotta pots for all of my amigurumi plants because the crochet is kind of light, kind of tippy, and the terracotta pots add that little bit of, what do you call it? Like, obviously weight, like doorstop feeling, and also a little bit of realistic, a realistic vibe. You're like, oh yeah, look at that, what a nice plant pot, or what a nice plant, and then you get close, and you're like, hey, wait, is that crochet? This is my Christmas cactus tutorial. Definitely check it out if you want to add some festive cheer or just some color any time of year to your home. Last but not least, I did crochet this gorgeous crown. This is gonna be coming out for our family tutorial this month. Family members of the channel get a little head start on making crowns. So you can be the queen of or king of your own crochet domain just by making a cute little hat, a cute little um, crown. Also good for New Year's Eve, like dinner parties, you know, have those Christmas crackers. You could have real crowns put in them. <laughs> and they could also match any holiday decor, kid parties, anything. So this is not a written pattern actually, and it is not a tutorial, but I did crochet it this month. So what did you crochet this month? Let me know in the comments under the video, and I'm waiting for you right there. Stay hooked. It is everything I crocheted in October. Now this is not bloopers. Hi, it's Krista at the Secret Yarnery. Welcome to everything I crocheted in October. Maybe we shouldn't start with introducing myself every time. We have a fabulous newsletter coming along. There's going to be a freebie in the newsletter for... Why do I have a hair right here? Because I do. Of course I do. A few moments later. So, why do I still have a hair here? I think I have like a broken hair and it's like literally just ends right there. Okay, maybe it's a phantom hair right now. <laughs> so this is my Christmas. Christmas. So tell me your favorite in the comments down below and I'm waiting for you in that video right there. Stay hooked. No, we wanna say, we wanna ask them.
Okay, so that's one done. Boom. Okay. Somewhere in the beginning. <laughs>